What is up, Dan Frode and Subzilla? Indeed, welcome to SCW Action. It is Tuesday night turbo. A quick intimate, quick, quick intimate action right here. But tonight the invasion is still running super strong. So if you have not heard any of the things, make sure you go back and watch the previous videos to figure out what this invasion is all about. But tonight we're gonna start out with a little bit of tag team action. Now, I'm not gonna put this in paper, but we're gonna say this out loud. If postal prophecies, Provident Next Gen and Mailman can get this done tonight. Kinda got him a grand and my number one contender match for the tag team championship. Without further ado, let's get it on. Health issues and financial issues. I understand. That definitely, yeah, what was it? There was the saying, life is like chess. I don't know how to play chess. It's kind of like that. It's, it's along that same line. So, yeah, I, I, we don't know the exact situation and we don't have the same feels, but I know what you're talking about. No, Red! Get the hell out of here. This is an intimate night. This is Dan Frode, Subzilla, and Jizzy night. Get your damn red walrus. No, don't say hi to him. He's ruining our intimacy. Damn it, red. Anyway, tag team action. Uh-huh. Coming in here with your damn high? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh-uh. Intimate. Intimate. Intimacy, you say. No, Zan. No. No. <laughs> Expecto extinguisho. This is this is a three-person conversation. <laughs> Sulks in corner. Do I need to put the Canadian flag up? Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's going on, Zan? In red. Oh, DMK. Get the. I, I used to know how to play checkers. I learned to play chess. Then forgot how to play checkers. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to betray the clan, fam. No, no, it wasn't you, Sub. It wasn't you. It was it was the Red Walrus. The Red Walrus, he spawned the, the Zan and the DMK entered into this stream, and I don't know what to do with myself. I was ready for a little quickie three-way here, and now I've got to accommodate more, and I didn't even bring sandwiches. Red! <laughs> Take this! <laughs> Damn it, Red! The SCW former tag team champions, Christoph King NorCal, the Royalty Boys. They almost made a big impact last night on Monday Night Zoo, but could not get it done. Sounds like I'm going to need a drink. Red, thank you so much. Tier 2, 17 months. 17 months streak. We're going streaking. Red, what color balls do you want? Can my sandwich be tomato and cheese? <laughs> of course it can. You're in the intimacy circle. Intimacy circle. That's hard to say. Black and white. All right. You're just testing to see if I got black balls tonight. You'll have to make the WCAS trio in this game. Why? Why? The more the merrier. Damn it, Dan. All right, she needs a sandwich. Too sweet. No, sir, pizza. This is an intimacy. So the mailman is the current king of hell champion and his partner, Prophet Next Gen. Postal Prophecy have been on a clean sweep lately, just knocking down opponents left and right. Can tonight they put a final stake in the tag team division's heart? And that means at the pay-per-view, they will challenge the two fat fucks for the championships. Pizza! It would be awesome. That's why. Red Walrus White! Going in! Oh, it would help if I had a gray or silver. What's up, guys? Good to see you, Sarah Pizza. Red Walrus, going into the ball pit. Appreciate you, my friend. All right, here we go. Tag team action. Red Walrus, always watching. Even when Dan Frode and Subzilla and I were doing a Canadian three-way. We appreciate that. Red Walrus is heisting, ready to get things done as Prophet 
is in a weird armbar with Kristoff. Kristoff takes him down. This show is going to be an orgy. It wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be an intimacy. We are going to do kissing and cuddling and all that stuff that Dan Frode likes. And all of a sudden, no, Red Walker's got to come in. DMK, Zan. I think that's it. Sir Pizza. Sir Pizza got to come in here. It is turning into an orgy real fast, though. Prophet Mailman been on a big streak. No, Prophet turns around into a bulldog. So I found out today that I cannot change my eye drops from morning to night. If I want to do night drops, I have to take them twice a day. Why? Why Why? why is that? Why is that? I love that. <laughs> Naked Twister. <laughs> Maybe. Prophet going after Kristoff. Big stomp right there to the, to the, right there to the wrist. Kristoff, King NorCal have been former champions before. Gur Walrus, eh? Elbows to the stomach, Kristoff fighting it off. Prophet, been all right as a competitor. He was a galactic champ. But you gotta, you gotta give the big props to the mailman over there, the tall man in the corner. Tag in. Kristoff needs to get out now. We got a serious storm going here on here in Pennsylvania. What kind of storm? Storm of the century? And Kristoff dives and tags in King NorCal. Here comes King NorCalian. NorCal the king. NorCalian king. Need a trash man to check out Lethal? Who's streaming right meow? Right meow, meow, meow. Fireman's carry over. I don't know. I didn't ask. Logic dictates one time eye drops is better than twice a day. So why don't you just switch the nights and stop doing it in the morning? I don't understand. Thunderstorms, loud and frequent crashes. I understand what a thunderstorm is, but like, um, is it off the? Is it coming off the water? Is it coming through the United States? Big camel clutch right there, but the big long legs of Mailman caught the bottom rope. High five, what was? Yeah, Lethal's playing Fortnite again. Yes, he is. Oh, I got an itch in the center of my back. I hope this or some of this orgy will scratch it for me. I guess I'll use this knife. Tag it in. Profit, mailman, perfect double team. Double axe handle to a stretched out King NorCal. Stomp to the gut, and now he, oh, he's got him locked in. Look at that submission, just wrenching back on the neck of King NorCal. Is he going to tap? No, the king. It's stretching. What? What's stretching? Throwing him into the to the corner post. Stomps to the gut. NorCal got Prophet in a bad way. Pull up, release. Toughest fans are here. All right. TMI. What? No. King NorCal with a German suplex folding Profit in half. Profit needs to get the mailman. And King NorCal got him in that taint lock. Dropping the elbows to the top of the head. Should probably just leave the cap off of this. NorCal. New no, gets taken down. And he does. King NorCal does get tagged into Kristoff. Kristoff the bearded wonder. Quick. Clothesline missing, then a drop kick, and here comes the big, the big man. No clothesline takedown. Mailman's on a roll. Kristoff caught him, got him up. Beautiful slam. Kristoff's going up top, going for the long bomb. Mailman's trying to get the hell out of the way from the top, dropping the elbow to the heart. Nobody's there. Nobody's near. Profits down. One, two. No, 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 no. Subzilla with a. Because apparently I've dropped too much information or something. I don't know. Chris Stuff throwing the headbutts. No, misses the splash. Mailman saw it coming a mile away. Duck under. Turns it back. Prophet is still down. Sidestepped him. He hit his head on that turnbuckle pad. King NorCal getting the audience on. Turns it around. Chris Stuff off the center. Rock right down! Wow! One, two, and Mailman kicks out of that! Damn!
Wow. I'm not sure either. I was talking to Dustman. I missed it. <laughs> Double under hook. No, turns it around. What were you guys talking about? Is he trying to bang a burrito again? Th thank you, Red. Thank you. Always watching. Mailman man, got those crazy boots. Locking the shoulder, locking the King NorCal, wearing them down. King NorCal, guest on the show last night. He was here live. Dell! Dell was in the garage. Mailman got him up. Special delivery right there, planted. Hi, Dell. How are you doing? How's your uh, how's your elbows? Going for the pan, Kristoff takes it down. Dev hearts, Dev hearts, Dev hearts. Just random married people. Oh, neck breaker right there. Just random married people chatter. Nothing fancy. Just, I'm trying to think what random married people chatter is. Kind of like, all right, next time you go to the grocery store, make sure you get some oil. We're out of oil. Dev's like, I'm never out of oil. It's right here. <laughs> Inside joke. Hi guys, elbows are greasy AF still. That's pretty, see? Inside joke, you gotta be here. Indeed. Taint lock locked in right there. Wait, bug. This is a 20 count. Multiple elbows in that taint lock right there. King Norcal trying to wear down the neck. Constantly working on the neck of the mailman. He knows he's got a 20 count. He's going to keep it locked in as long as he can. It's sliding in. We're in the south. Never out of oil. That's true. Mailman front face slam right there to King NorCal. Delve can see the top of King NorCal's head just by standing up. King NorCal looks up at Delve. That's it. He's not here, so. Uh, <laughs> never out of oil. King NorCal fighting back. And now he's got him right there. Oh, no. Mailman fought back. Throwing the elbows. Elbow to the back of the head. King NorCal goes crashing down. Mailman going for a quick pin. One, two. King NorCal caught, kicked out before Kristoff could get there. Kick to the back. This is not really for a number one contender for the SCW Tag Team titles, but it's kind of a well duh kind of thing. Bah! It's true! Tis true! Got him up again! Special delivery to King Norcow! Kristoff needs to get in there now. Profit needs to play perfect pitch. I don't know. Uh, we got a lot of oil in Norway too. Profit! Profit playing perfect, and then Kristoff still slipped by him. Thank you, Walrus. No, Profit wants all the Kristoff. Chop block takedown. Delve counting the top of King Norcal's head. You've got 900 grays. Kick to Norcal, double underhook. Tosses him like a rag doll. 270 pounds. Tagging him in. Profits in, throwing forearms. Hand up. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Profit just caught a right. Throws him in. Right into the steel turnbuckle. Hand down, Walrus. The King with a pull up release. Kicks him off. No, turns around, Jawjacker, points. Damn it, Dan. 526 hours? You need a vacation. Go for the pin. Two. Profit kicks out. Postal Prophecy can get this win tonight. We have to guarantee them a number one contender shot against the two fat fucks. Indeed. Perfect tag out right there. Chris Stuff coming in. Mailman looking for a tag. No! Prophet saw it coming. Rolls out. Sidesteps him. No! Chris Stuff still caught him. 
Got him up. Power bomb folded up. Ref not paying attention. One, two. Oh, super close. No, 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 Clothesline takedown, Kristoff in control, off the ropes. Flying clothesline, indeed. Yes. I demand an overtime pay. Oh my God! Kristoff just jammed both knees into the back of Profit. To help 114 hours is way too much. Throwing the knees to Profit. Sends him into the turnbuckle. Kristoff, no! Gets distracted by King Norcal's banter. Tis true, peasants. What? And then he gets taken down. Prophet looking for a tag for Mailman. Walking forward. Mailman talking about how the postage rate is going to increase next year. We can start a union, Dan. <laughs> With that amount of hours, you probably could. No! Kristoff meets an elbow to the face. Prophet. Lock it in, pile driver, prophecy fulfilled. <coughs> it's nothing compared to Dan and Red. Yeah, but they they're they're like they turn the they turn the thing on and then they just like they walk away. Retro! What's going on, Retro? How you doing, man? Christoph busted wide open, thanks to Mailman and Prophet. Clothesline takedown. Retro, number one contender, just showed up in chat. The intimacy has not been fulfilled. Kristoff bleeding, fighting back. Points! Whoa! Kristoff, there it is, the Rock Rider right there. Oh my God! Profit needs to get in there. One, two. No, Mailman is still in it. Sub dudes. <laughs> I'm a third year apprentice nerdy watcher. Metal Mogwai, 17 month streak. Damn, three tier. Hanging him out to dry, Profit. Another one right there to the back of Kristoff, doing what he can to send this team down. Metal Mogwai, what cut of three balls would you like into the ball pit? Subdued Metal. Oh, he's got it. He's got it locked in. King Norcal needs to get in there and break it up. Kristoff trying to hold on. No, he doesn't. I have to do it. I have to do it. Postal Prophecy has been on a solid roll since the pay-per-view. They have won every match they have been a part of, and tonight they took down the final team. There's no way around it. I'm sorry. No way around it. That means at the pay-per-view, it will be Mailman and Profit versus Dustman and Big Daddy Juggalo for the SCW Tag Team Championship. Uh, all three black, please. Congrats. I'm not sure how long I've watched Nerdy. Maybe three or four years. It's been a minute. I mean, I would say when Big Daddy started coming around, I'm sure. And he's been here a long time. All right, Metal. We'll get him for you. But your winners in this opening match, Postal Prophecy. Delve Hart, da, 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 da. Retro and Ann, Delve Hart, what? <laughs> All right. Metamagui. Nailed it. Metamagwai. Nailed it. Metamagwai. Nailed it. <laughs> Indeed. My first comment in Nerdy Stream was, dude, that probably. All right. Moving on. Good game, Dan. Damn it, Dan. Metal, thank you very much for that tier three, by the way. 
You do not have to do tier three. That is, uh, that is absolutely insane, but thank you very much. You do not have to do tier three. You are amazing whether you do it or not, but I really do appreciate it. Pretty sure my first comment was like, this is Miss Homebody. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Homebody. But see, you've graduated from Mrs. Homebody. You are now your own in you are your own entity. You are Delvy Pants. All right, so this is a rematch because in SCW you have a rematch, DCW you don't. So the match, the title is technically held on an SCW program. Meaning that Joey Undead, the paperweight champ, has to give an automatic rematch clause to Mr. Norvid. Norvis, eight-legged critters, and tonight is that night. The paperweight championship is back on the line. I want a side sheet for reasons. <laughs> are you petting it? Are you, are you... This, 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 that's kind of what I'm... <laughs> side sheet. There's a real one back there. She's in the ball pit. And by the way, the ball pit is actually tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we will jump in the ball pit and find out who the winners will be. So I'm pretty excited. Is petting side chief. Oh, I get it. Never mind. I wrote Bugs Bunny and Nerdy told me to write it. It was the poll was capitalized. <laughs> That sounds right. Boy, does that sound right, man, because there were so many people. They just they were just Bugs Bunny, lowercase, and I'm like, no. I only have one ball. There's so not me in there, so not me. I don't know. I don't remember my first comment. I don't remember my first comment either. Former SCW tag team champion, former SCW paperweight champion. Mr. Norvis, the leader of the ZCW invasion. It could be you. One can do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be blindfolded, so it could be anybody. <coughs> mm. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I just have this lung butter I can't get rid of. I don't know why. I even went to the doctor. They're like... Yeah, it's allergies. I don't think it's allergies. Anyway, moving on. Enough of me. Uh, but yeah, it could be it could be anybody. You never know. Maybe I did win the casino car in GTA Five this morning. Did you seriously? That's awesome. But it's gonna be Kevin. Mmm, lung butter or heavy. Um. Red Walrus and Dan Frode have a lot. Uh, Dallas Texan has a lot. Kevin, Heavy, they have a lot. Uh, but it could be a random. It could be one donation. Could have done it. I'll be in and out. Got to make something to eat. All right, my man. But yeah, I mean, just that, just the 100 bits or the host or something. It, I don't know. Uh, enjoys foods retro, but that is Mr. Joey Undead, aka the King Undead. He fought hard to get that paperweight championship back around his waist, and tonight he's got to fight even harder to keep it. But yeah, I don't know how it's gonna go. But there are two prizes, so that's a that's a win, you know. There's two options. I think you have way more than that. Because um, you've hosted me a couple times, so the host, you get balls in there. And I know you've donated. Hell, I, th I put in one last night for your donation. So I think you got way more than 10. There's a lot of balls in there. It's way more than I was anticipating. Rush Row. I wish I had just one egg in Haley's drawing to make it interesting. How many did you have? Hope so. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Oh well, I I, I subbed her, so I had at least one in there. But 
she's just she's a different level of awesome. So yeah, you, I, I, yeah. All right. From the Amazon, where tarantulas are. Stomach ache. Ah, that sucks. That's right. Norvis. Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 100. Yeah, indeed, Retro. Feel better. He is the pure light heavyweight champion. Yeah, that means paperweight, right? Pure white? Pure, pure light? I don't know. Joey coveted that belt since he took it from Shaggy. And now he's got to put it back on the line again tonight. Does anybody want to take bets as to what Retro Mortis is going to be making? Like, if your name was Retro Mortis, what would you eat for fun? Here we go. Shaggy hasn't gotten over. Oh, yeah, I don't know. He has not. I thought he said the pure light-headed champion. Soup! See, I think of Mortis, and I think of, like, Rigor Mortis. That, that's what I think of. So it had to be something very stiff, like uh, pickled pig's feet or something. Um, oh, no, a pig ear. A pig ear. Oh, for a stomachache. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, like, what he would eat on a daily basis. Yeah, soup is always a good idea. Because if you throw it back up, it's still soup. <laughs> Joey, chicken fingers. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I actually had, and and, and this is a, this is a slight brag. I actually had chicken fingers from McDonald's today, and they were awesome. Like not chicken nuggets, chicken tenders, and they were pretty damn good. Like, they had spices and stuff. Ooh, lobster rolls. Joey sidesteps the bat. Norva sidesteps Joey. Uh, I'm whipped. Oh, yeah. Why don't you say that to my face, man? The hell? Dan Frode's broken. Somebody go fix him. Delve, go fix Dan Frode. He's on the fritz again. Lung butter and thrown up soup. Glad I ate earlier. It happens, Red. It happens. Well, you're the one. We were having a, an orgy. Never mind. Um, that was my mom's logic. Whenever we had stomach bugs, it was uh, no such thing. No, nothing but liquids for us. It makes sense. So remember yesterday? Um, I remember yesterday like it was Monday. Joey working on Norvis. Joey not sure where he wants to go, but he's happy and hyped. That's what happens when you mix monster energy drink and Adderall. From the top, misses the elbow drop. Norvis back in control. Joey made a big mistake. It could cost him the championship. Norvis setting up the punches. I think I may possibly seriously look into making a calendar. I think you should. I want a calendar. I want a calendar right now. Get to it, Metal Maguire. 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 Norvis got a kendo stick. Oh, Joey didn't see it coming. Cracked off the back. Joey getting the hell out of Dodge. I think you should. I think it'd be great. I think you'd sell a lot of them. Norvis from the top. Joey Days. Norvis perched. From the top, no! Joey sidesteps, made Norvis ca I don't know what happened. That was weird. That was really weird. I buy that for a dollar, Ange. Big knees right there to the face. The hell is up with this catching? Maybe more than a dollar, sorry. <laughs> Norvis got the bat. Oh my god! God! And Joey took the bat to the temple. Wow. Wow. Brat diet. Brat diet for six stomachs. Bananas, rice, apple juice, toast. That sounds really good right now. I want that regardless. 
Bananas, apples, rice, toast. Oh, I like that. I, I've never heard that before, but I like that. Norvis! Oh, Joey's busted open. His head hit that bat again. If I bought it, it would use it for a few months, and then I would stay on the month for the rest of the year. <laughs> um, sub, you don't know how real that statement is. That's, dude. All right, hang on. Look, I have a calendar right there from 2018, okay? It has people's birthdays on it. And you know what? It stopped on April. April of 2018, I have not, and it's not because it's a cool picture. I didn't, it just stayed there. It's been over a year since I have turned that calendar. Oh, I thought you were gonna say bratwurst. Ooh, that sounds good too, make that happen. Joey missed it! Joey's bleeding bad. The champ is down. Norvis. It's real. It's a real statement. Norvis is in control. Joey is not paying attention. He is in big, big risk of losing his championship tonight. Norvis. Okay, I'm here. What's going on, Sal? Goddess bended the knee. But I would still buy one of your counters, Metal. Joey is down. Joey is bleeding, fighting back. You just wanted to stare at my birthday. It's okay. Joey with that front face DDT. My birthday today. It is today. You're right. I have it on my calendar. Yes, the 30th. How was your birthday, my friend? Got to celebrate Subzilla somehow. Rolling through. Joey, super kid, Norvis is busted open. Wait. Make a Bratwurst Month picture? Guten Tag. Good. Good to hear, my friend. What level have you reached today, South? Happy birthday, Southern. Joey and Norvis bleeding profusely from this match. One of them will walk out the paperweight champion, but a lot of blood is on the line. Joey! Oh, skinning the cat right there. Just a picture full of smoked sausage and like a, a metal face. Joey clocking, I almost said Dell for some reason. Joey clocking uh, Norvis in the back of the head. I got Dell on the brain apparently. Joey trying to get back in control. Norvis is bleeding really, really bad. Joey from the top, he lands the elbow that time perfectly. Picking him up, Norvis is out on his feet. Joey off the top, oh, oh, that tilt the world spike DDT. Joey misses the kick. Norvis caught him. Neck breaker. Damn, sub. You're making me so hungry. One, two. No. Joey refuses to stay down. Norvis can barely see. Championship. Joey caught the double drop kick. Going for the pin. Is Norvis out? One, two. <laughs> Happy birthday, Southern. Joey just testing to see if the ropes can withstand his kicks. Joey kicking at anything and everything. He can't see. The blood's in his eyes. He can't see. Punch to the gut. No! Norvis comes fighting back. Championship on the line. Russian leg sweep. Not a German leg not a German leg sweep. That's hard to say. Norvis systematically trying to take down Joey. Joey King undead. Taking some abuse tonight. No, he's got him in the tarantula. There is no rope break. Joey might tap. Thanks, everyone. I do have you on my calendar, by the way. After the tarantula, one, two. No, super close, though. Stomp to the gut. Norvis back in control. Joey turns it around on him. Joey taking Norvis to the outside. Throws him back in, doing a Yoda table move. Joey's going up top. That's a long distance. Joey misses the up. Oh, he got caught in the ropes, too. Norvis going to pick up the pieces. There he is. This is how he won the championship in the first place. He's got him in the spider's web. Joey taps out. 
I got it. I will make a dirt face while throwing wieners in the air in each picture. Not in each picture. No, it can't be each picture. No, I veto that. Joey just could not get it done tonight. Watch this. Bam! It's a hell of a match between both of them. Then it would be a tits. What? Total sausage fest. <laughs> Norvis took back the paperweight championship from Joey tonight. And look at the blood and carnage stream down Norvis's face after that hellacious battle. You got to give it up to both men. Norvis, your champion. Then it would be a tits. I'll buy two. All right. Or tits fest apparently. Tits fest. I, I'm more. I'm more inclined to celebrate a tits fest. Um, what are we looking for? Ah, invasion. Watch Liswitz. He's streaming right now. Make sure you check out Listwitz doing his thing. Red Walrus is already over there. No tits on Twitch, no sub. That's right. That's right. What's interesting is Listwitz is actually next. I'll throw water balloons in each pick then. Not in each pick. Every you've got twelve different pictures. You can't be, you can't be throwing water balloons at all. Water balloon is a summer thing, so July, August. That's water balloons. Sausage is more of like an October thing, so you throw sausage in the air for that one. A different dirt face. Don't make me build this calendar. Um, did somebody ask for a slice of Jonesy, baby? Tits and water balloons. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. What's going on, Jonesy? One month could be Megan Bacon. Throwing bacon in the air. See, we're making this calendar for you. Just sit back and take notes. Uh, what am I looking for? What's interesting is Nerdy is bountiful with subs, but no tits. Where are my tits? No tits on tits, no sub. What am I looking for? Shaggy. All right, invasion action tonight. Ooh, Megan Bacon month. No, I'm sorry, Metal. It has to be throwing balloons in the air every single month. I'll wait. Hey, Metal Mogwai, the beautiful blue-haired goddess. See, Jonesy knows how to praise. Jonesy knows how to praise. He's been around the block before. All right. Invasion action tonight. Starfleet, Listwitz, and Spock will take on the Stairs and Jizzy. There you go. We'll take on the, uh, not a real team, it's just a makeup team for tonight. Freddy is ready and Shaggy. It's my calendar! <laughs> I, I, although, I really think you should make a calendar. I think it would be great. I, I think it would be uh, very different. We, we had talked about this years and years ago of doing a streamer calendar. Not that I mean, that's not on the docket anymore. But I remember talking to a few people back then about doing a like a like we'll have like a list wits month and then like a, um, a who else was in there? Ron was in there. There was somebody else. Who was the a Jekyll was in there? Uh, but yeah, just doing a streamer calendar and trying to sell it. And I was just like, nah, because that's a lot of work for everybody. But I don't really have the content to stream to make a calendar, but I think that you do. Delve! I think I might. I think you should. I really do. Space, yeah, Spaceman Steve. Hello, nerdy. Hello, little French lady. Well, 
What you do, Metal, is you put out feelers for it. Like, you take it seriously like it's going to happen and say, who would be seriously interested in purchasing a Metal Mogwai calendar and see who actually responds? Because I think that it'll be bigger than you think. So just try it that way. We've had a few drinks tonight, so pretty drunk right now. Well, Jonesy, uh, you need to hang out, man. I, I know, I know you've been. I know it's super late, but if you can hang out, you're actually in the main event today. Little fence lady, hello, Dan. Red big hugs. Let's do it, Spock, Starfleet. I'll buy one, Ange. Main event. Wine, hair, delf. You don't see a lot of Freddy's ready on Tuesday night, but tonight he's helping out the Shagster in this impromptu tag team match. He's the former extreme champion, but last week he lost it to Big Daddy Juggalo. That's one. Was gonna start streaming, but I forgot. I forgot not good to start drunk. Nah, well, I mean, I don't know. That, that's a lot of people start their streams drunk. So I mean, you, you be you be amongst friends. I've never started a stream drunk. I've been drunk on stream, but I've never started a stream drunk. Freddy. Raise your hand if you've been on stream drunk. <laughs> drunk stream sounds awesome, Jonesy. I don't know. I do know. <laughs> know plenty of people who drink and have been drunk on stream. That is the Shaggy. He is the number one contender for the SCW Heavyweight Championship. Tonight he's helping out Freddy's ready to do some dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap. Freddy's entrance is good as the Undertaker's. I agree. I agree. It me. And chat drunk. Facebook touchdown. Have you really been in chat drunk before, Red? Not me. I'm usually drunk on stream, so I'm love drunk. Are you love drunk? Are you in love drunk with Shaggy? Shaggy would love a shot at the Paperweight Championship, but right now he's got bigger fish to fry with that SCW world on the line. But you do it so well. No, not really. Listwitz. Wow, Freddy. Spock steamrolled down the ref. Freddy's laying down. Shaggy's going directly after Listwitz. Listwitz, who's streaming right now? Sending Spock up and over. Freddy celebrating. Long time no talk and see Raider Lakers fan Sam. What's going on, Raider Sam? Good to see you, buddy. How you been, my friend? Kicking ass and taking names? Me being drunk is extremely rare on occasion because I don't like drinking. When you drink, what do you drink, sub? List one, it's big staggering suplex right there. Stop the damn match. By God, he's broken in half. Doing all right, man. Doing all right. Little sleepy. A little sleepy on this Tuesday. Red, much love. That's right. That's right. Good to see you, Sam, man. It's, it has been a minute. It has been a little bit. Usually wine and angry orchard. Hey, I like both of those. See? That's why the birthday month is still up. Shaggy getting taken down by Listwitz, and here comes Spock working on Freddy. No, oh, big flying crossbody. Spock takes down Freddy. This is uh, first first fall or pin. Wins the match. 
Spock systematically taking him down. Big shoulder block taking him back. Listwitz, who's streaming right now on Twitch? I see him. He's right there. He's doing stuff. Make sure you guys check out Listwitz. 100%. Bam, right there. Click that link. Go over there and say hello to my friend Listwitz. Sam, I implore you. Dragon Screw by Listwitz to Shaggy. Listwitz logo. There you go. Mmm, cider. Yes, Metal. Metal, do you... I just, I just don't see Metal Mogwai partaking in alcohol of any variety. I just don't see it. I just, I can't see it. Dragon's group. There you go. Uh, you ready for Raiders football? I am, man. I, I've got... I don't think they're going to go They're gonna go all the way this year, but I think it'll be a lot better than last year. I've, I've, I've watched a little bit of, uh, you know, who they got in the draft and things like that, and I, I think they're going to be a little bit better this year. They're going to finally focus, get Gruden back in there. I think it'll be all right. I think it's going to be a good season. Jumping. Tombstone from Spock to Freddy. Shaggy going on the outside. Gutless wits up. Back body drop on that ring apron. One, two. Wow. What a quick ass match. Damn. Starfleet, the invasion. Jonesy! Good job, buddy. Damn. Boom. All right, let's do it, Jonesy. So close, dude. Here's the here's the arrow and here's the spot. It's so close. Damn. I mean, you were probably this far away. So you're a winner, Starfleet invaded and Starfleet won. So close. That's what she said. Why would she say that? Because you didn't finish the job? Because you're not a sensual lover? Because you don't care about your partner? I'll wait. Uh, I drink, but I really only, hang on, but really only a handful of times throughout the year. Last year I drank maybe five, six different occasions. I understand that. I, I, I totally feel that. Like I said, I just, I have never, um, I just, I don't, I don't, I've never heard of you talk about drinking or posting pictures or anything like that. So I just assume you didn't because I got Brewer's Droop. The hell? the hell's a brewer's droop? Subzilla, translate. All right, moving on. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. So he isn't love drunk. Look up what brewer's droop. No, no, no. That's why I have you. No, whiskey dick is this lube. This is, this is whiskey dick. It's like whiskey dick. See, this is whiskey dick. This is lubrication that you use. All right, what am I looking for? Mm, no, not that. Ah, let's do it. I usually don't, but let's do it anyway. Maybe I'll have a drinking stream on Friday. I need, thank you, thank you. Oops. What could go wrong? Shots all around. Uh, happy Taboo Tuesday to you. Metal Canuck, how did you know that you were in this match? How did you show up at that exact time? There he is. Went right past him. Here we go. Hero metal. 
<laughs> Taboo Tuesday, huh? All right. So this is the number one contender for Shifted's Sugar Walls Championship. One of these five men will survive the hell in a cell to take on Shifted at the pay-per-view. Hi, Canuck. Jonesy, just two more matches and then you're up. You should make me in the game. We are about to start uh, revamping. Uh, maybe the next three weeks. We might see if we can get you a character in there, man. Might be able to. I know not. Indeed. Ah, sub. Inside joke. Raise your hand if you get the inside joke. Put your hand down, everybody else. Uh, I fancy some Canucky fried chicken. Boy, that's hard to say. And you're not in this match, so settle down. What are you drinking anyway, Jonesy? What gets a six foot six, 280 pound fella drunk? Nerdy bought a vibrating broom. I did, I did. Red Walrus, kaboom. That's interesting. It looks completely different in the, in the chat versus in the chat over here. That's crazy. Huh. Oi, middle. Indeed. 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 Points. Sounds like my ex. Who? What? Doesn't care about uh doesn't care about the female anatomy. All right, sorry. Two bottles of Honey Jack Daniels and a handful of Skettle Bomb. What the hell's a Skettle Bomb? When you hear the drums, you gotta bow down to the largest athlete in SCW, ZCW. He is the seven foot tall, 500 pound Canadian Red Walrus. That description. Oh, two bottles of Honey Jack Daniels and a handful of Bomb Skittles? Oh, wait, what? No, not that. Oh, super tall and whatnot. I got you, I got you, I got you. I got your fried chicken right here. Jiggles balls. <laughs> the drums. Fatality, still part of the tag team division, but it's never a wrong opportunity to better yourself the way that Dan Frode did last night. Dan Frode became singles competitor and won the Big Head Championship, and Fatality could by chance become the number one contender. Yum. The Skittle Bomb is known as a France as Retire. Little French lady, translate. Is a alcoholic bomb shot cocktail that gets its name from Skittles confectionery <coughs> taste. The method of preparation is similar to that of a Jaeger bomb, consists of a shot glass, Condier, dropped into a glass containing Red Bull. Huh. How many of those have you had? Hi, Subzilla. Fatality moving and grooving. The entire crew got wiped out. Damn. And from California, Check out Delic over on the YouTube. Delic Life. Much love, Raider. So when you drink metal, what do you drink? Mogwai, metal mogwai, what do you drink? Five and a, five and a half, the half I dropped on the table, but I licked it up, licked it up. Oh, you licked it up now, lick it up. I knew what you meant. Almost 550, yay, you're close, dude. I guess we gotta make something for 550. 
What do you want to make it, Dan? Uh-oh, finger guns. And from Canada, weighing in at 220 pounds, Tucker Cowboy. He is an uncrowned champion in SCW. Been here since inception. Trans Cowboy, trying to make a name, trying to get some stuff done. Supreme Watcher. Isn't that a title you already have, though? Canada! Just make it a Canada title. Danny, I always wonder, where in Norway you from, buddy? The middle! <laughs> Downtown! <laughs> He's from downtown. Trance and Six are the same entrance. Trance headed first, Six stole it. What can I say? Metal Canuck, part of death, money, and taxes. Death, money, metal, and taxes. The Hamptons. The Hamptons of Norway. I'm from Trollhello, middle of Norway. Ha ha, I was right. You lose. Anything from strawberry, daiquiri, screwdrivers, Long Island, rum and coke, cider beers, amber, pale ale, red wine, champagne. Metal Mogwai, it's been a minute. Sub. <laughs> <laughs> the cage is being lowered and here we go number one contender sugar walls championship uh, damn that sounds like next to asgard actually interesting fact ali d has actually drove past uh or, or visited the part that is in scotland where they filmed asgard from endgame so that's that's it interesting I used to frequent a place called World of Beer. I've had at least 50 different beers from around the world. Have you had Jupiler? Because if you ain't had Jupiter, don't talk to me, girlfriend. Fatality and Trance fighting on the outside. Delic coming to help him out. Fatality getting thrown in the cage. Yep. Metal Canuck chilling in the corner. Delic going after Red Walrus. And this is not elimination. This is first fall to a pin. Not yet. Throwing elbows. Maybe in November. What? Oh, when you're going up. I did not. For some reason, it didn't work. <clears throat> Would love to visit Norway. Well, Dan Frode's got a place for you to stay. I mean, it's in Dan Frode's bed, but you got a place to stay. Dan Frode's cuddling you, keeping you warm at night in those cold Norwegian nights. Trance working on Fatality. Metal Canuck looking for somebody to punch. Red Walrus caught a Canuck. The Canadians are fighting. That's right. Oh, I know that's right. You okay? No, I, I, I was thinking and I'm fine. Red Walrus caught Trance. Former partners and now they're fighting for a championship potentiality. I'm going to Belfast next week to do the Game of Thrones tour and see all the filming locations. Can't wait. Oh, Jonesy, you can't drop something like that in this chat without doing hashtag bragging first. The hell, Jonesy? What do you think this is? Who's a big streamer? Amaranth? Clothesline from the back right there. Fatality taking down Trance. We got great beers here, too. See, see Metal Mogwai's list above. That's, that's what good drinking is. Thinking is, how do you say, hard. <laughs> Metal Canuck going against Delic as Red Walrus taking trance for a ride. Fatality's down on the outside. Nightbot, fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Going for the pin on trance. Red Walrus, one, two. No, not even quite a two count on that one. 
you guys always want Hell in a Cell matches. And now you got one. Got that taint lock locked in. Trance trying to get out. Trance popped right out of there. Sending Trance up over and out. Metal, Metal Canuck trying to pick up a fight with Red Walrus. Metal Canuck working on Delic. Fatality down. Is Nightbot, Nightbot female or male? Uh, both, actually. It has all genders and uh, all non-genders at the same time. Yeah, Nightbot has it all. Anything you can imagine, Nightbot has it. So if you're feeling frisky, get to it. Nightbot is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Red Walrus just threw Trance into Metal Canuck. <laughs> Binary Bot. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? Trance missed the Red Walrus. Fatality dropping the leg on Delic from the top rope. Red Walrus throwing big punches to both Trance and Metal at the same time. Caught him with the elbow. Fatality focused in. Lightning. Metal Canuck just threw Red Walrus into the stairs and now he's tracking him all the way around. Big Samoan drop. Porkachu! Clothesline. Another clothesline off the ropes. Delic's in control. Metal Canuck is taking Red Walrus for a ride. Trance Cowboy's doing his best Retro Mortis impersonation. And damn, where the hell's Retro Mortis been? What kind of food did you make from scratch? You go out there and kill a chicken? And be like, okay, yeah, I've got to pull all the feathers. Damn it, Retro. Fatality! Come on, Poke. Come on. What's going on, Fatality? Stalking my prey. How'd you know you were in this match? Metal Canuck from the top. No, decides a little bit better against it. I swear that Twitch is family when it comes to letting me know when you're online. Or you can just follow the schedule that's posted down below that we talk about every single time you're in here and just follow that. Ref is down. Fatality going against Metal Canuck. What's going on, Six? Good to see you. This is two days in a row. Fatality flipping him off. Big flying crossbody right there. Trance still down. Red Walrus meeting Trance. Here comes Delic. Suck a schedule. <laughs> hey, Six. Six, um, yeah, how did you know you're wrestling tonight, dude? How did you know? How you doing? Hello, everybody. I didn't know I was wrestling tonight. <laughs> I wrestle always now. That is the perks of joining the show. The more often you're here, the more often to get more matches. It's kind of like... I reward the people that are here. It's like, why would I put these people who don't show up in every match? When there's people who show up all the time, they don't get a match. It's like it's planned by me. Huh. I'll wait. Indeed. I'm a fan fave. What? It's almost like nerdy is smart. Rigged. Yes. Notice... Jonesy didn't get a whole lot of play, and then he shows up, and now he's in the main event. Trance Cowboy working on red. That's why he hates me. That's why you wrestled last week and won. <laughs> it's almost like it was in the stars. Same six. Better day today. Metal Canuck off the top. Oh, my God. That super roll. Trance there to break it up. Gas. Planning? Delve! Delve beat Fable Vixen in her opening match last week. <laughs> Hi, Delve! Jizzy is super smart. It's true. Fatality looking for Metal Canuck. The winner of this will challenge shifted for the Sugar Walls Championship. There it is, worse than Vinnie Mac. I wish. If they would let me choose the outcomes, I would be really bad. I would be really bad. What do, you, what do you want to call it? The Canadian roll? What do you want to call it? I bought a new oven. What kind of oven did you buy? I don't even know. What, what's a good oven? Whirlpool? Big back body drop. Canuck is the only one standing right there. No chance. Metal Canuck with that flying forearm. To Red Walrus. There's only two standing. Metal Canuck with that heel kick right to the face. So Red has an Angela comic that's called Queen of Hell. It's my destiny to win again. <laughs> 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 
No chance in hell. Fatality's up. Metal Canuck is down. That's right. Delex moving on the outside. Trance has got some life left in him. Metal Canuck gets caught blindsided by Delic. The Canadian roll is my version of Kona's finisher. All right, that'll work. That'll work. It's a whirlpool. Lucky guest. I mean, there's not a lot of ovens out there. I mean, it, there's not a lot of ovens. I mean, I'm sure there's like super industrial brand ovens, but I don't picture you buying those. How did you know that's the exact voice I used to type that? It's like I know you. Cider beer? Um, where's that camera? <laughs> it's a double oven. A double Dutch oven? Trans Cowboy perched up top, diving headbutt to Delic. Metal Canuck is down. He's actually disappeared from view. Red Wallace and Fatality duking it out. Red Wallace, weird drop kick. Ended up missing Fatality but hitting Trance. Fatality's in the outside. Red laser focused on Delic. Tusk! 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 Go for the pin. Red Wallace gets knocked out by Trance. Trance fighting. I won't tell. But Trance right there dropping the beat. Trance going for the pin. One! Two! Red Walrus kicks out. Pop into the spell with Joey. I need to remove that from my room. Do you? Do you? Trance got him again. Dropping the beat again. Second time in a row on Red. One. Two. Delic breaks it up. Biting my time. And he's back in. Go for that quick pin after Delic took him down. You, you were. You were trying to take him down. Record breaker. Do you? Do you? I'll wait. Record breaker to the back. One, two. Wow. Delic comes in at the last second. Look at this action right here. Everybody's finishing move was hit. Metal Canuck bided his time, but it was the wrong time to strike. Damn. Trance dropped the beat twice on Red Walrus. Delic broke it up at the last possible second. Metal Canuck slides in. Record breaker to the back. Pinfall number one contender. Delic. Damn. Wow. There he is. How was that nine course meal you repaired, Retro? Samsung appliances are pretty nice if and when you ever get another house. I want at least a Samsung fridge. That makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't think of Samsung. Two muffins are in an oven. One muffin says the other, man, it's hot in here. The other muffin says, oh my gosh, a talking muffin. <laughs> Good job, Dad Jokin' Jonesy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, Dr. Tandis. All right. Two more matches. Just ham and Swiss on rye. Dude, it's been an hour. Did you, like, eat it, like, like ASMR style? He's like, I don't have time for your shit, nerdy. And I don't blame him. Wrong way, damn it. Metal and see. I called the meal. H hey, Danny Metal. Good to see you, Tandis. All righty. More invasion action coming at you. Game time. Ali D has been, I mean, the quintessential, the unstoppable force. He has held the nerd championship that he has now claimed as the Iron Brew championship since November. Yeah. The, every, every, every time that he has stepped up to the challenge, he has knocked down anybody that got in his path. So, 
Ken Six Psycho put a little dent in Ali D's win streak. Every dog has his day. Let's get it. Um, had anybody tried the black mask thing for your face? That stuff is strong. You talking about the peel? Did you? That's awesome. Yeah, we all guessed. We all guessed what you were getting to eat. I guessed a full chicken that you had to go outside, kill, pluck, rotisserie, because damn. My wife just told me to get to bed. She said, shut your nose, woman. I'm watching wrestling. Shut your noise, woman. Ooh, another false count anywhere. You got to throw a little life out there. No, I said soup. <laughs> Farm fresh. I like your thinking. Like we said, since November, he's held that nerd championship. Ali D is out to set real records tonight. Hey, Spock. Yeah, man, you wrestled tonight. Yeah, you did miss it. How you doing, buddy? Ali D. Yeah, this match is just for funsies. It, it's it's about it's about invasion. It's ZCW versus SCW. Longest reigning champion in all of SCW. It is. It's Ali D. He outranks Furberger by months. It's crazy. What did I win or lose? You haven't wrestled yet, Tanda. Settle down. Uh, no, you actually won, Spock. Can I have his hat if I win? That seems fair. I don't know if your character can wear a mask and a hat. Idea, Iron Bruce Snow Cone. That sounds good. Six for the win. Six Psycho representing ZCW. I don't want to wear it. I just want to have it. <laughs> Pink slips for the hat. I don't, I don't know. LED's not here to put his hat on the line, and I can't speak for him. I need a locker shit from the other wrestlers. That would be hilarious. If you start, like, putting stuff on your pants or something, like, every time you won, you just, like, put their name or, like, an article of clothing or something on there, that would be hilarious. Well, I mean, you dethroned the champ tonight, man. We might have to get you something. Something, something. Tandis and Jonesy patiently waiting for the main event. Only one match stands in between them. Come out of the pay-per-view wearing everybody else's stuff. Could be epic. Um, you could add stars like Brett did. Yeah, I mean, kind of the same thing. It's kind of like I beat this guy and then like, yeah, you could do that. Ali D working on six. Six Psycho, the newbie. Leg sweep, takedown, knee to the back. He does have that metal knee brace. Stars are tame, though. I want to be obnoxious. All right, so what? what is obnoxious? Uh, oh, a speech bubble would be hilarious. Metamogwai! Metamogwai, thank you very much for stopping in tonight, hanging out with us, and uh, thank you once again for that Tier 3 and being my friend. You are awesome. You are amazing. Metamogwai, get some sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, Ange. Ignore the red light up in the top corner, Ange. Just ignore that. Ignore that. Later, Metal. I read that as later meal for some reason. LED double stomping right there to Six Psycho's chest. Six Psycho, no, Jawjacker back at Alley. Dev! No, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. Dan Frode, no, you're awesome. European uppercut. He's European. Got him. Sometimes I wish chat wasn't interesting in here so I could pay attention to these matches. Well, pretty much I read most of it, so just focus on the screen. Ali D going for the pin. One. Six kicking out. And you. And you. That's right. Old school joke right there. Ali D going up top, trying to finish off sixth. From the top. Oh, he just stomped on the back of his head. We both know how you read. Maybe I'd do it nonchalantly or obnoxiously. One. Ooh, six kicking out. 
LED did not get the full effect of both those feet. LED misses the grab. Six Psycho captures him. Much love to all you beautiful people. Oh, LED with that running bulldog. Six Psycho feels it. Good night, Ange. Six keeps fighting back. Ali got the strong jaw. Ali off the ropes. No, Six caught him. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag's a big plus. Go to your room, Dan. Throws him into the turnbuckle. Six Psycho trying to trying to take him down. I like that one, Dan. No, oh, Ali D missed the knee. He missed the knee. Six Psycho caught him with the headbutt. Ducks under. Ali D caught him. Ooh. It's sponsored by Fruity Bubblegum High C and McDonald's McDeluxe Burger. One, two. Ooh. I actually had McDonald's for lunch today. And not a salad. Ali D looking for the freight train. Say it's cut off time. Freight train right there to the face of six. Six psychos dazed and confused. Ali D. No, turns it around on him. Can we get rid of that one? What? I have a move that's literally lying on the ground in front of a running opponent. Can we get rid of that? Nope. Nope. Yeah, that one that one's part of the uh, the hardcore wiring of this. LED turns it around. Six Psycho in a bad way. LED doing the rock rider. Here we go. German suplex into a pin. One, two, no, six kicking out. LED feeling pumped, wiping his nose, kicking back. Stomp on the back of six. LED's frustrated, stamina for days. Caught him, no! Leg sweep. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Damn, oh! Wow, Ali D wears steel toe boots in the ring. Caught him upside that ear, gave him a cauliflower. Six Psycho, there it is! Big slap right at the end. Going for that pin on the champ. One, two, ooh! Six slap, stamina, get your ass. That was close. That that was close. Boy, you can you can just feel it, man. You can feel it. Put your Wii down, fatality. Dan Frode talking to him. Leg sweep takedown. Ali D's got him turned over in that half crab. Half crab. Six Psycho trying to fight against the pain. And he does. Ali D's got to relinquish it. I need to look at something. I just thought about something. That is not a good thing. Oh, okay, that's a good thing. Never mind. Half Crab? Mmm, that does sound good, doesn't it? Can we forfeit outside the ring in this match? Yes. You never go full crab. <laughs> no, Six caught the leg. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this match you can. Six Psycho catching some of the flurry right there. Couldn't figure out that word. Six got him. Double underhook. Front face buster. Can I get my spanking first? Gonna go for that pin. Ref. One. Two. LED kicking out. That was super close right there. Let's go, Ref. Move your ass. Ref was not in position. Definitely not. Spanking really good. No. Oh! LED with that kick to the back of the head. Told you, steel toe work boots. LED puts in a hard day's labor. Brings the work boots to the wrestling ring. Full crab, someone has hygiene problems. Damn it, Spock. Ref not in position. One, two, six psycho still in, still in this match. No getting crabs here, Red. Ooh, there you go. Red has crabs amore. Oh, crab armor. <laughs> <laughs> At least the rest is being shitty to both of us. Yeah, it's not one-sided. Ooh, quick neck breaker right there to the back of that steel knee. He had it replaced after Nom. That's why Six has got such a good... Oh, LED's busted open. He's bleeding. Six Psycho has made the champ bleed tonight. LED is definitely in a bad way. Sending him back to that ring apron once again. Ref staying back, needs to put his gloves on like the UFC guys do. 
There it is, that front face DDT going for the pin. This could be it for Ali D. Six, one, two, six. Psycho takes down Ali D on the outside. If I beat him, I say we change his name to Ali Defeated. The Giant Killer. What's up, Lethal? How you doing, man? How you feeling, buddy? Damn! Walrus is a definite soft shell. Wow. So tonight, the Invasion wins both matches. Nice job, man. Kona! What's going on, Kona? Allie defeated. I think we'd agree that he won the battle, but I won the war. Uh, no, this is your first meeting. It's it, This is a battle. The war would be like nine battles. What's going on, Lethal? Doing okay. Gonna eat something and take my meds and go to bed. Did you, uh... Are you still playing? No, you're not on anymore. How was the game of tonight? Kona, 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 Kona! Yes, what a great replay that was. Just throwing and then falling on the man. The downfall was LED starting to bleed. Though it does explain Walrus's color, he's thoroughly steamed. Had some really good games. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Get some food. What kind of food are you getting? Who has crabs? <laughs> the replays are on point, aren't they? Six Psycho doing some great stuff tonight. Taking down the alley defeated. I mean, I think Ali D has lost matches, but he's not lost the championship, and that's what matters. Takes the hat. <laughs> uh, all the best parts of the match, yes, when the ref's not there. Anyway, it's time for the main event. Ali D's been waiting on this. I mean, not Ali D. Jonesy has been waiting on this. That hair needs a lamp added to the curl. A lamp? All right. Never seen a headlamp. <laughs> Let's get this, Jonesy. Bring home your big bastard. <laughs> um, actually, technically, it doesn't matter, but. I thought I had a. I guess we'll do this one. Here we go. Uh, Codaflex. That's right. All right. So this is the race for the case. The winner of this will be able to insert themselves into any match that they see fit at the upcoming pay-per-view. If they want to go for the World Heavyweight Championship, they can do so. If they want to go for the Extreme Championship, they can do so. The only titles that are not on the line are the tag team titles. They can choose any belt they want, and that includes ZCW as well. All the titles are up for grabs. The race for the case begins now. One of these five will get a golden opportunity to take any title that they want. Conflex. Good goo G dub. Titles are up for glabs. Yes, they are. They're up for glabs and grabs at the same time. Sometimes you gotta have a little ice cream uh, with some of your words. You gotta do it. I insert themselves. Ooh, fatality. Glabs. Ah. I get tongue tied from time to time. It happens. Especially because I have this weird um, lung butter coming up. J Dub for the win. You you do know that Jonesy and Tandis are both here. But whatever, Dan. You be target number one. 
have to wonder how to glab. How to glab indeed. Penetrate themselves into any match. They can penetrate deep inside anybody they want. What is going on, Liswitz? It's good to see you, buddy. You actually wrestled tonight. How was the show, dude? Do we get any say on them inserting themselves into our spots? Nope. None. <laughs> Whatever. Golden Threat, former Operation Hug the World champion. Who did I lose to tonight? Never have any luck on Tuesdays. You actually won. Yeah, you actually beat King NorCal. Don't get mad. Get glab. As for show, eh. Hey, you Liz Wits. The case hanging high above behind him. Wait, a ladder match with no heavy D? Greets guys and gals. What is this madness? Ladder's cheating. Well, they have a um, they have an open relationship. They, they they have an open relationship. It's they, they can see each other from time to time, but they're they're primarily each other's. We never get the mask up the. <laughs> You're right. Six foot six, three hundred pounds of pure British anger. The largest real athlete in SCW, known simply by Jonesy. Bounty, 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 bounty. Jonesy, been drinking for a while tonight, got himself some liquor dick, and he is ready to fight. Sorry, I was watching Endgame, forgot how long it is. That's all right, Fallen, how you doing? If you ever, have you ever thought of having guest commentators in your party chat with you? I don't have a party chat. Heavy! Shh, I'm always watching. What's going on, Heavy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we did it. We did it once or twice. It just the delay is the big problem. Is that you guys don't see it when I see it, uh, especially if you're trying to party chat. So it's like, hey, he just did a clothesline. Cool clothesline. It doesn't quite work. You have a computer. You know people. You have a party chat. Sup, Red? Hey, heavy. What football team is your favorite, Jonesy? J Dub. There you are. How you doing, Abby? How's life treating you, buddy? We were talking about your um, your open relationship with Ladder. J-Dub, former barbecue champion. Trying to find his way. If I win this match, I'm going to get some new ring gear. Okay. You've lost ladder to the five guys. Are you doing all right? <laughs> Sub Dan. Available to cuddle. Metamogwai is done, went to bed, Spock. You're late. You're late. And from Scotland. From Scotland. That's right. Purple Army. Want to stop by the show and show some love? Jinxy! Oh, I heard. Who says I didn't send ladder? Ooh! Jinxy, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you had a fantastic day. I can't cuddle lethal, so you have to do it on my behalf.
Uh oh. Fair. The Beard. Former King of Hell. He is the Tandis fam, the hardest working man in all of SCW. I think I wrestled on Saber Heavy D. What? I did. Thank you. I hope you have a great day also. Eh, I had a Tuesday. While under sedation, I told the doctor she was a pain in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jinxie, I can put you on my shelf back here. I'm trying to collect the whole set. I need a Subzilla. I need a uh, I need a Delve. I need a Jinxie. Put them on the shelf back there. Is there is there a caber toss happening? I don't know what that is. What is a caber toss? My grandpa did that a dozen times with no sedation. Yeah, I want to go on yourself. I got to collect them all. I got to have the full collection. All right. Ladder match race for the case. The winner of this can do whatever they want. Some Metal Canuck. Only until the pole flip, Heavy D. What? Jonesy getting thrown out. J Dub with a close onto the back of Purple Army. Golden Threat dialing in. He's choking the beard. Not sure if Tandis is still here, but Caber Toss is a Scottish strongman event. Is that the is that the telephone pole toss? Is that what that is? What's up, buddy? Purple Army, the first one out the ring by Jonesy. J Dub throwing a tantrum. Jonesy can almost reach the case standing in the middle of the ring. I'll give him snuggles. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, Manson? How you doing, man? But, um, spo oh, okay. Uh, caber toss is where you throw a telephone pole with your own strength to get it to flip end over end. Yeah, I, I, I didn't remember the name of it. I know, the, I know the act. I didn't know the name of it. All right. Later, Jinxie. We go on the shelf. Is this any of the cover reference? Plaz Tech. Plaz Tech. Technically... You do have me on your shelf. The Delve Pop. There it is. Uh, why don't they just call it telephone pole toss? Because they gotta, they gotta make things all fancy dancy. Jonesy throwing multiple punches to the face of Golden Threat. J Dub sending Tandis out. Doing good, doing good. Um, this isn't horseshoes or hand grenades. Purple Army sliding in because the sport is more than 100 years old and the telephone, 100 years older than the telephone pole. Yeah, they were throwing tree trunks back then and then now they got telephone poles because it's a caber. <laughs> caber, what did you say? Caber a toss, what was that? Caber a happening. Caber toss a happening. I couldn't remember what that was. That is definitely a Tennessee waterfall reference if I ever did hear one. J Dub, Caber sounds like dirty trying to say cable. Caber. Jonesy with that flying forearm right there. Looking for something to do. Uh, I got all the good channels on Caber. I do, by the way. I know a guy who knows a guy. Tandis with that double underhook right there. Neckbreaker to J Dub. Golden Thread, double underhook right there. It's so good when you say it. Kyber Crystals. I think it's a Kyber Crystal, but it'll work. Jonesy using the strength to take down Golden Threat. Jonesy, part of the winning team in the World Cup. Now back in the singles competition, looking to make his mark. That's Sao Tang. That's right, that, that's Sao Tang. It's right there. Uh, give him the boot, Jonesy. The Das boot. Golden Threat, clothesline. Oh, I didn't even notice this, but Purple Army's bleeding. Tandis counting his beard hairs. He's going to be there a while. And now two ladders in the ring. J-Dub meets a ladder firsthand. <laughs> Heavy D's getting a little jealous. They're falling on the ladders together. Choke slam down. Double choke slam? I'm trying to remember what that's called. Give him the boot. J-Dub meeting the ring. Tandis. Eagle eyeing in, focusing. Heist. 
Did you call mean cable guy? What? <laughs> cable guy? Tandis doing boot stomps. Not the tang Miss Fallon's looking for, she said. What kind of tang is she looking for? Oh, the drink. The drink. I got you. I understand. I think they do still, um... I think they still sell tang. I think so. Tandis kicking Jade up. Oh, and Purple Army with that ladder right to the face. Rextra Tang. <laughs> Did you watch SmackDown Live? It was pretty good. I don't I don't get a chance to watch the live shows. If it's a um, once it hits the network, it's pretty much when I watch it, but I don't even watch it religiously. I just make my own. <laughs> What'd you think of the reunion, by the way? <coughs> What'd you think of the Raw reunion? Jonesy, the first one to set up a ladder and scale, but the big man, he's got height issues. He's trying, Golden Threat and Purple Army trying to push the ladder, and they do. Jonesy's dangling. Close. Jonesy, the first one to climb and the first one to crash and burn. J-Dub, Golden Threat, doing crazy footwork moves. J-Dub celebrating Golden Threat. Doesn't take kindly to that. Starts using the ladder as a weapon. Tannis is laser focused on J-Dub. Jonesy getting up. Journey to another round. Make sure you guys check out King NorCal. I think he was streaming earlier. I don't know if he's on anymore. Golden Threat doing damage with that ladder. Jonesy turning around on purple. Awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I watched the replay. I didn't watch it live. But yeah, it's pretty neat. If they did that every week, something like that, dude, the ratings would go back to the roof. Golden Threat, the second one to climb the ladder. He's got his hands on the case. Purple Army not focused. Purple Army only gives a damn about Jonesy. J-Dub trying to get up to one knee. J-Dub does see it. Purple Army finally focuses. Golden Threat might get this case. He might get it down. Shot straight to the head. Who got shot? Golden Threat still on it. They're trying to double team, and they do! Golden Threat's dangling. Can he get the case? No! Electric chair drop. Tandis back in, fearing the beard. Everybody in this has facial hair. I won! Wow! Wham! 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 Oh man, I thought he was gonna Ninja Warrior. He, I, I don't know if they can in this game, but yeah. Jonesy, line set on purple. Sends him in the turnbuckle, crashing out. Oh, Golden Threat's bleeding, I think. Wait, that's not Ladder. That's Ladder's mama. Other kids, step Ladder. I. <laughs> They're both trying to push. They do. Jonesy crashes and burns again. Step Ladder. Backbreaker, Tandis. Powerbomb on the outside. Oh, I knew it. That looked a little derpy. <laughs> Purple Army, bleeding. Golden Threat, bleeding. Fear the beard. Getting Fallen Angels just bucks back slowly and steady. There you go. Heavy. Tandis, the only one left in the ring. Purple Army showing the crowd his goods. You're a wrestling fan. Well, I used to be. I used to be a big wrestling fan. And uh, then they went PG and I said no. And I stopped watching. Then TNA came around, and it was really good. And then uh, it got crappy as well, and I just stopped watching it. AEW, there you go. They're fighting at the top. Jonesy and Tandis both crashed down. AEW, the audience over there getting a nice view of whatever. <laughs> I, I, that's what I said. I, I'm glad somebody else noticed that. Purple Army trying to get the ladder. Golden Threat says, no, 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 no. Jonesy still up. Tandis down. J-Dub down. Jonesy says, screw this, and goes directly after Golden Threat. Jonesy looking for the Jonesy bomb. Big! Ooh! That swift kick at the end of that power bomb, and Jonesy will ascend the ladder for the third time tonight. J Dub, Purple, both see it coming. Purple goes after J Dub. Tandis is down. Golden Threat's up. Jonesy trying to undo that, that lock. It's harder than a Liswitz vault. He almost got it. Golden Threat stopping him at the top. And he does. Tandis is down. They're fighting at the top. Jonesy. Jonesy's getting rocked. 
No, go to threat, fighting back. Jonesy going all out. Neckbreaker from the top. So isn't Golden Threat no more contender for the Galactic? Uh, not, no, hang on. No, Shaggy is. Let me double check now. Hmm. No, Retro Mortis and Shaggy. Wait, hang on. No, that's, that's World. Jonesy trying to get it done. They're all staring at him. Whoa! Fourth times a charm. No, let me see here. Uh, Pizza the Hut and Sunday Heat are the number one contenders. See? You thought you had me there. How about Jonesy pulls, look at this, neckbreaker from the top. He pulls out a big win tonight. Jonesy now has the biggest question to answer of his entire career. Jonesy so far has not held a single championship. This is his opportunity to insert himself into a match and possibly take home a big, big title. Greeting, wretched Nez. What's going on, King Norcal? Jonesy, I know you're inebriated. You do not have to make the decision tonight, but you can think on it. You can message me at any time what title you would like to go for. But yes, Jonesy picks up a big win tonight. He won the race for the case, and he will make a big decision in just two weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for Tuesday Night Turbo. Thank you guys very much for being here. I hope you had a lot of damn fun. We'll be back tomorrow night with the uh, Jumping in the Ball Pit. Tomorrow night, Wednesday night. We are jumping in the ball pit back there. It was a tough night. So make sure you guys be there for that. It'll be the first time. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And there will be, of course, more wet Wednesday wrestling action as well. Smell you later. Sea chicken. All righty, guys. Let me find somebody great for you to go and invade tonight. Let's see who we got going on tonight. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to give you a nerd circle, and I will see you tomorrow for Wet Wednesday. And do not miss, it is not comic books tomorrow. It is a crazy end-of-the-month nerdy effect stream. So appreciate you being here, uh, Sea Chicken. Good to see you. Everybody else, Subzilla hanging out from beginning to end. Dan Fro from beginning to end. Uh, let me do it one more time just for the... Indeed. Make sure you guys follow that raid. We know it's intended for mature audiences, damn it. Just say our message on Instagram. Yeah, man, you're good. You're good. Do your thing. No comics. It's the end of the month. We're jumping in the ball pit. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the enjoy the raid. Nerd Circle.